good. Take the slide handle, go up. All right. Okay. And then, if it's a daylight pass, I'll have uh, daylight coming in. I would remove this inner pane, or no, actually, for photography where I started before, is if I wanted to be taking pictures, I'd be floating, of course. I can open the slide door and then shoot with the camera. Okay. If I'm installing a payload like the, like the telescope, I'd remove this. There's a stowage locker here. It, it would slide into here for stowage, a place to put your stuff. Okay. And then I would deploy the bump shield, which is this. And it's transparent so that while you're working, you can either look out or get daylight coming in. But originally, the engineers made it opaque, and it's just, why are you making it opaque? And it's extra mass with the aluminum, so they... And then, initially, it was a grid like this. You know, so then they came up with this. So that was the third iteration. So it's nice, you could actually view through there if you want. Okay, at any rate, having said that, I would be in here now, I'm safe to work because the window's protected. I put in all the stuff, connections and all of that. Last thing I do then is I would take the, the bump shield and lower it. Now, you know our, our telescope is on that slide mount and it's supposed to be on here. I would actually slide it to the window and then I'd back out. And of course, you throw all the power switches on and all that appropriately. And make sure that all the electrons are going where they need to go and all the responses are what they're supposed to be. Once that's verified, I put the hatch back on, seal it up, and now the payload has ownership of the window and the rack, vice me as a crew member using the window for the photography. And then and then outside of here we have the, the light requirement with which you're very familiar, stray light. Uh, that's why it's all black inside. But when we did the light test to verify the requirement, we discovered that these mushroom fittings, now inside here, they're called mushroom fittings, because this is a grid, a grid lets air pass through for, for ventilation. Uh, there's a little cap on that that sits on a, on a ring like this, so the light would have to go around. But, there was, but light, light is pretty smart, and it found a way. So it went around there, so there was light leakage here, not significantly, but still, when you have the requirement as written, you have to do something about it. And there was actually light leaks along the tracks here for these slide handles on both sides. The poor man's high-tech solution was put Velcro on here. We got a waiver for the Velcro requirement that states, and this is for fire propagation, that you can no, have no longer than a two-inch segment of Velcro has to be separated by another two, by a space of two inches, so that fire can't follow the, uh, like make it a fuse, if you mm -hmm. We got a waiver for that, to, for the light seal. You notice it's all the way around. And we have the light curtain that would Velcro over this to block this and block this. And the curtain is made out of Nomex, black Nomex material. And that, so what the crew would look, look at is a big black section here covering the center of the rack and that's all they would see as they're going by back and forth. Now the crew didn't like that because earlier crews had access to the windows and now with the payloads operating the wharf they are restricted from doing that at times when there's a payload operating which in the last year has been almost continuously. So that's why the cupola that I told you about is available and that mitigates the, the sting of the loss of this window. But see this is in the main module in which the crew is working and so therefore it's handy to like if I get a break I, you know I don't have to go float down and somewhere else it's right there and that luxury is lost like I said unless there's not a payload then they have free access for themselves that's okay. so that's kind of how things work here and you know then they shut the window you just and that's the end of that so that's how that operates you're now officially qualified uh, as a full-up operator.